Hey guys, it's me back with another video, another video, another video. Uh, I'm gonna say grace and then I'm gonna tell y'all what's on my plate. God is good, God is great. Thank you for the food we eat. Lord bless those that do not have any. If it be anything in this food to do our bodies any hurt, harm, or danger, we always ask you to protect us. Protect all my ocean beauties, or I should say thank you for protecting my ocean beauties. My kings and queens, my followers, my people all over this blessed world. Can't do nothing without you, Lord. Amen. 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 Okay, y'all see over here. Over here, y'all got me a vegetable salad. I started to put some chicken in it, but then I didn't want to do that because I'm having fish tacos. So, um, yep. Let me see if I can get y'all a close-up. Get it up in. It's so bright in here, y'all. Okay, I got me a vegetable salad. I got some tomatoes, cheese, scallions, lettuce, carrots, cucumbers. Um, uh, I think I said tomatoes. Some feta cheese. I love feta cheese, y'all, in my salad. I love feta cheese. So I got some of that. And over here, over here, I got me some three fish tacos. I just want to show y'all. Got my fish, my lettuce, my tomatoes, onions. So I'm gonna put some sauce on it. And then I'm gonna get down on it. For sure. Mm. This is a coleslaw sauce. Tastes just like the other ones that they make. But I dropped a little spice in my jar. Not a lot, y'all. But I did drop a little spice in there. I got me some old ranch for my salad. And of course, I, I'm forever forgetting something, y'all. But it's all right. And my drink is water, y'all. So I'm going to eat a little bit of this, y'all. I need for y'all to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm up uploading. And drop me some comments down and give me some thumbs up, y'all. Come on. We got just a little bit further to go for that 500, baby. It's my vegetable salad with the ranch on it. My camera, y'all. Mm. We got croutons in here. Mm. Yes. Mmm. I love salad. You can never go wrong with salad. You can never go wrong with salad. Mmm. Y'all, this is a coleslaw dressing that I got from Whole Food. I use it for salad dressing on my fish, whatever. I bought it to go with the fish. But after I tasted it, um, I'm like, oh, you can use this on a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. So that's my stuff, y'all. Wait, we about to drop some stuff. My tomatoes and carrots and all that stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I'm going to eat a little bit. Drink a little bit. Y'all know I always got something to tell y'all. Whether it's made up or the truth. I'm still hot trying to figure out how I'm going to do my giveaway. I got a couple ideas. Oh, it's a fish taco. <clears throat> Carrots, onions, um, lettuce, tomatoes. Mm. 
And I use codfish, y'all. Wild caught. All the vegetables are organic. Only got like about six croutons because I'm not supposed to have them. So I said, I sneak six in. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is delicious. Mm. That's my daughter and everything. Yeah. Man. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Mm. Mm. That is good. Y'all need to try these. If you haven't tried them, try them. They're good. I think when they make them, they steam the fish. I ain't do mine like that. I put it in them. air fryer, which I was surprised at myself, because I don't really mess with no air fryer, none of that stuff, but anyway, mm. Mm, mm, mm. so y'all, right now, mm. Hey y'all, I watched, um, y'all know Tubi is my channel, y'all. I watched a movie on Tubi called Alice. I'm sure some of y'all done watched it. If you ain't, go watch it. It's a trip. Um, Kiki Palmer played Alice. And it's, I just want to tell y'all the whole movie. I want y'all to go check it out. Well, they was being raised, the black people was being raised like it was still slavery days. They had no clue what the outside world, what the outside world consisted of. They had no clue that it was the outside world. So, poor the thing, shit they was pulling in slavery, they was pulling in this here too. Like I said, nobody has a clue. All the black people was thinking that it's just the way it is. There's other black people somewhere on plantations, and this is the way life is right now. So, of course, they was raping them. And, the little young girls, anybody rebel with young black men that try to kill them. But Alice, Alice wasn't going. She put up with that trip a little while. I'm not taking shortcuts, y'all, because I really want y'all to go watch it. Alice wasn't going. When old Massa thought he was going to do what he thought he was going to do. Sent Alice into a rage. Alice got up out of there. She ran out on the road. Not realizing what she was going to run into. She thinking it's some, you know, other plantations. She still got to hide and all this stuff because they going to get them. 
so they gonna get her. She wind up running out on the road, y'all. She wind up running out on the road. When she ran on the road, there was a car coming up the road. Mm. Oh, Lord. It was a car coming up the road. Y'all, my water froze. Uh, and mind you, she had never seen a car because they were still having horses and buggies and walking and all this mess back over around that camp where she was running from. So when she saw the car, the man saw her too. She dressed in these slave clothes and she looked, put, Roller one and I was talking to her. She looked at Annie was a black man. And something like this, she, I couldn't even imagine what must have went through her mind. So he winded up getting her in the car. They got to talking to each other. She was acting strange. Like she had never seen nothing like that before. What she had. And the man was asking her, what, well, basically, what's wrong with what's wrong with you? So they get to talking, figuring out these white folks was doing some bogus shit. Got them thinking it's still slavery, working them and doing their, all manner of things they wanted to do to them. So Alice went on with the do which was common. I think the man who was driving the car was common. She um, went on with him and he got to talking to her and telling her she just, when he took her in town, she really like, she just couldn't believe it. And y'all, when she got her shit together, oh, she went back for the masses. She went back to get the rest of the people and for the masses. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So, I kind of like fell asleep on the child. I was intending to get up this morning and watch it again. But I want y'all to go see it. I want y'all to, the name of it is Alice. It's on Tubi. Kiki Palmer's playing Alice and Common is playing, I think Common is basically her savior but um i just watch these kind of movies i watch all movies and i watch anything just about but be tripped out how they come up with these, all these ideas that's because somebody done did that shit somewhere I'm sure. The hell somebody got them thinking it's one way and it's another way. It's it's just crazy the way the world is. The way people in the world, you want to be boss over somebody or whatever, ruler over somebody. You're not they ruler. God, they ruler. God is they ruler. But mankind... Don't seem to have the fear in their heart that they used to have back when I was growing up. Oh, don't get me wrong. Oh, God will put you where he wants you. And you can go there the easy way. Or maybe you can let, let it be hard. But either way, it's happening. So, just like <coughs> this commercial they got about human trafficking. That's because it's being done. Now, you know, I'm kind of getting away from the movie a little bit. But in this commercial, you got three neighbors in the window on the phone because you see what's going on across the street. And it's happening every day, according to them talking. 
saying somebody you need to report him. Yeah, somebody you need to report him. So while y'all on the phone talking, one of y'all should have been on the phone with the police. Because they showed them still on the phone and the people driving away with, it looked like a van load of kids. Mm-mm. Just stuff like that, it just, I don't know. My mind is weird, I guess, I don't know. But, watching that movie really just was a reality check for me. Because somebody somewhere is being held captive against their will. And I don't know why I'm talking about this, y'all. I tell y'all, whatever God put on my heart, that's what I talk about. Somebody's being held captive. Be it in their mind, in their heart, in their doings. Somebody needs to be loosed, set free. You know? Not judging nobody, I can't judge you. I'm human too. Some stuff I need, it could be talking to me. Some stuff I need to let go. That's why I come on every day and talk to y'all and tell y'all about little movies I done saw and stuff like that because that keeps me, that keeps my mind kind of stable, y'all, kind of set because I got y'all to talk to. I don't have to worry about all that negativity and, you know, if you listen, you listen. If you don't, you don't. But you never leave me no mean comments. You know, so I thank y'all for, you know, being there. Basically being there for me. Being there for me. I thank y'all for that. It's a little bit too much fish on this one right here. Yep, I thank y'all for that. Um, some days I don't feel like recording or whatever. And then I think about y'all. I said, why wouldn't you go record? They waiting for you. So I, I record. I don't be feeling, y'all, I done got to a place I don't even really like to eat so much. I like talking more than I like doing anything. But I do it because that's my time that I get to spend with y'all. I get to spend that time with y'all. So... When I come on here, I don't only come on here for, you know, just y'all. I come on here for me, too. It makes my day that I could talk, share my food with y'all, and just be myself. And nothing like being able to just be yourself. Just be yourself. People either going to love you for it or they ain't. You don't need to be trying to bully nobody, hold nothing over nobody here. If people like you, they're going to like you regardless. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I don't got food. I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. Like I said, thank y'all for letting me come into y'all home and talk to y'all. Y'all share my food. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure, my kings and queens. When I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Y'all good people. Y'all come on, let's get this, this last little bit of numbers on out the way so we can go and do this little giveaway. And let me see, I want to make sure that I done told you everything. Hopefully I can start putting uh, pieces online um, so you guys can see them. I'm really excited about it. Um, I do t-shirts, y'all. I make t-shirts. So, I got a whole new t-shirt collection. And my daughter was telling me I should post them. I should show y'all. So, I think that's what I'm going to do next. Y'all, I'm going to wear a lot of, um... Name brand. I wear a lot of African clothes. 
cultural clothes. So that's what I'm gonna show y'all too. Oh, mm. that was delicious. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blessing. Bless the cook her hands that made it. Mmm. And y'all, on that note, remember, if you ain't got some kind of say to somebody something to make they um to make they day, send them on their way. If you ain't got no love in your heart, maybe you woke up in a bad mood or something. You just don't feel like saying a kind word, that's okay. Just don't say nothing negative. Just stay to yourself when you feel like that. Because the world needs as much love as possible, y'all. So if you got love in your heart and you giving love out, love gonna come back to you. I promise you it will. So, y'all, I'm up. Love y'all.